Hey everyone, my name is Lance. These straw rockets only take 10 or 15 minutes to make and they can shoot crazy far. It's a really fun and gratifying project. So let's get started. Okay, here's everything you need. Make sure to use cardstock or index cards. Regular copy paper isn't going to work well here. And try to find straws that are pretty sturdy and about a quarter inch in diameter. First, fit the pencil eraser onto the end of the straw. You can also substitute the eraser with a one inch piece of hot glue stick that fits inside the straw and is then taped in place. Next, bend the head of the metal fastener downward like this, and then use two pieces of masking tape to attach it onto the straw just behind the eraser. Cut out three paper fins. Apply a piece of tape to this side of the fin with about half of the sticky side still hanging off. Then tape it to the other side of the straw, making sure to attach it as straight as possible. Apply tape to the other side. Repeat until you have at least three evenly spaced fins. Okay, let's make the slingshot. The first step is to place a piece of tape onto the end of a craft stick with about half of it hanging off. Then lay the long rubber band onto the tape at the tip of the stick and fold it over, pressing the tape together. Apply a second piece of tape to reinforce it, which will prevent it from ripping. The long rubber bands work best, but you can use these regular 3.5 inch rubber bands. And you can tie two of these together for better performance. Watch closely. And we're done. To fire, first hold the slingshot straight up and down in your dominant hand. Pinch the straw just behind the fins with your other hand and hook the fastener onto the rubber band. While keeping the slingshot straight up and down, pull back as far as you can. Release the rocket, and at the same time, let the slingshot naturally flick forward. This prevents the rocket from colliding with it. So how does this work? Well, of course, the rubber band is being stretched out, which creates potential energy, and when it's released, that's converted into kinetic energy in the form of the flying rocket. That part is pretty straightforward. There are also three other concepts to consider. There's drag, momentum, and stability. So when the rocket is launched, the surrounding air is pushing against all of the exposed surfaces and slowing it down. That's drag. So to overcome that drag, we need to generate more momentum, which is a force that keeps an object going in the direction that it's already moving in. Momentum is defined as mass multiplied by velocity, so by adding more mass onto the rocket, we can generate more momentum. This is why the eraser and, in part, the fastener are added onto the front of the rocket. This mass carries a lot of momentum with it and helps pull the rocket through the air and overcome drag. If that's all we added, this would actually work pretty well. But there's one more thing to consider, and that's stability. Without these fins, the rocket will veer off course. When the rocket is flying through the air, as soon as it starts to turn, it exposes the broad side of the fins to the oncoming air. That pushes the back of the rocket back into alignment until it's experiencing the minimum amount of drag that it can. This is what keeps the rocket on course. And this is why it's so crucial to attach the fins on straight, because if they're even a little bit crooked, that's going to expose it to the oncoming air and will actually generate drag and slow it down. So even though it's a pretty simple project, there are a lot of forces at play that explain why this rocket works as well as it does. It's pretty cool. So there you have it. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more of these kinds of projects, and consider pledging on Patreon if you believe in the mission of creating engineering project plans that are freely available to everybody. You can also get access to these lesson plans and project sheets, which is really helpful for teaching this to others. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.